Hello and welcome to Tutorial to You. My name is Yannick and in this video we're going to talk about naming conventions in C Sharp. We will talk about Pascal case, Camel case, upper case, prefixes, plurals and even verb noun pairs and when to use each of them. So let's get started with Pascal case. If you have developed C-Sharp for quite a while now, you will probably know the Pascal case. You can see it right here. It's a convention used for naming classes, structs, methods and even properties, where the first letter of each word in the name is capitalized, as you can see it right here, my property, my is capitalized and property. And if we have a new, let's say, uh, my amazing property, amazing would also be again the first letter in uppercase. So that's the Pascal case and as I said it's for classes, for properties, for methods, for structs and all of that. Great, so let's move on to the camel case. We will use the camel case for variables, parameters and private fields. So when we create a private field, private int, we call it h for example, we will not write it in uppercase like a property, no, we will write it in lowercase just like that. Now, if we want to call it my age, for example, we will write down the M of my in lowercase, right? And then each new word with a capital letter at the beginning. So my age, like this. If we would have another word, like my cool age, C would also be written in uppercase too. So the difference in comparison to the Pascal case is simply that the camel case is starting at the very beginning with a lowercase letter indicating that it is set private. So let's create any kind of method right now, public void, just print something and then we can just console write line and then we write a string. Now if we create parameter we will also, as I said, use the camel case. So what we can do here is we can say string content for example written in lowercase. Now we could also say content text, it doesn't really matter how the variable is named right now, we will talk about that too. But content text, you can see that the new word text is in uppercase again. So that makes it a camel case, right? So if I write that down here, perfect. And as I said, we will also do that for variables. So this is a private field, right? Because it's in the uh, class itself. But if we have like a string text, also that's a variable and it's written in lowercase, right? Text, if we say my text, we will have to put the text in uppercase, well, the first letter, right? Great. Okay, so now this is how you can use camel case and when to use, as I said, variables, parameters and private fields. Great, so let's move on and talk about prefixes. But before we move on, let me show you our C Sharp Progress Academy. It is a self-paced online video course that teaches you C Sharp full stack web development with Angular unit testing and even C Sharp software design patterns. We offer a 14 day money back guarantee and I'm absolutely sure that this is the best course that you can take to really accelerate your C Sharp career because you will learn everything you need to know to get hired as a software engineer. Other courses are teaching you only technical skills but in this course you will learn how to be a good software developer and how to behave like a professional engineer. So check out the link in the description below or popping up right now at the top right corner. And for sure make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel so that you no longer miss any of our high quality upcoming C Sharp and .NET related tutorials. So let's talk about prefixes. Here I just set up an interface and you can see that I here, right? I payment strategy. So the prefix here is that I. And the prefix is used to denote the type or nature of the element being named, right? So payment strategy here is an interface and the I indicates, well, that it is an interface. Now let's move on to plurals. And for plurals, that one is quite simple. If we create any kind of collection, let's create a list of strings. So this string and if we have like many objects like fruit, right, we will write that down in plurals because we're talking about a collection. So we will have many fruits. So we will call it fruits. We would not call a collection name. We would call it names. We would not call it car. We would call it cars because in an, well, usually if you create any kind of array, list, dictionary, hash set or whatever, you for sure have multiple objects. So the plural is a good practice here, right? So just make sure that you call it fruits, names and so on. 
Now let's move on to one that I think is very important, which is the last one, the verb noun pairs. So let me just paste some code here. There we go. And the verb noun pairs are for events or methods that perform an action. For example, on click or get results or process data. So it's not really about the capital letter. We already talked about that. All of those are methods right here. So we will use the Pascal case. It's more about the naming convention itself. So here we have an event. So if I click a button, the event should be named on click, on submit, on cancel, right? All of that. So for events, typically you will see an on. Now the verb noun, you can see that right here, get results, right? So I'm getting results, post results, delete object, process data. So you have a verb and then you have a noun usually. Okay, and one final tip for everyone who is new in the world of programming. If I just create a new method right here and I will write a public um, void log name, for example, it's really just for demonstrating. And we create a variable here. I will write down string name equals to let's say Yannick and then I can call so right line whatever but it's really about that name here right we can also call the pre name or whatever but always make sure that another developer who's taking a look at your code exactly knows what this variable is because if I now change it to p right and if I just remove my name what is that variable meant for you don't know it yet right you have no clue what it is now but if I just bring back the pre name you know okay yeah it's a variable for the prename, but it's empty. But just like this, it's not, it's only guesswork. Another developer could only guess what this variable is. If you just give a method a bad name, a variable a bad name, an interface a bad name, or an event or whatever, another developer will not be able to understand your code and he will spend a lot of time in understanding and misunderstanding how you have developed the program. So please think about that other developers may look at your code and follow some good practices about naming conventions as we have discussed it right here in this video. So thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. Make sure to subscribe to our channel so that you no longer miss any upcoming videos. And for sure, check out our C Sharp Progress Academy, your C Sharp Career Boost.